All right, so guys, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Direct. I'm super excited about this. We got a whole bunch of information. This was like two days ago. My bad. I'm sorry. Let's get into the video. Let's go, man. Let's go. We're reviewing everything from the Zombies multiplayer campaign. Los Angeles, and thanks for joining us today. What's up? We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. Okay. For Black Ops 6, we really wanted to give ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation across Turn all parts of the game. Okay. I've been working here for over 20 years. Oh, wow. I can tell you that we have something special on our hands with Black Ops 6. So I'd like to hear. I'm excited to give you a deep dive into our campaign and global innovations across the entire game. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. We're reviewing everything. We're not playing. We're not playing about nothing. With Black Ops 6, we're taking players to a new but familiar era, the early 90s. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force has infiltrated the highest levels of the U.S. government. Okay. Branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very machine that created them. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, to the butt of the gun! The butt of the gun! Of ...to deliver the fun and attitude players expect from the Black Ops franchise. Multiplayer is of course here and brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground for the brand new Omni Movement System. New way to push beyond your limits and move like an action. Uh oh, uh oh. You'll see a sneak peek of that later today. All the movement now, gods are gonna go crazy with Omni Movement. Better than ever. And you can be sure it's full of surprises. With that, let's step into the mind bending campaign experience we've been crafting with our partners at Raven. Uh oh. Here we go. Uh oh. Alright, here we go. The campaign! Every Call of Duty player has a favorite campaign mission. True. When we set out to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. Okay, that sounds good. We are bringing that action packed blockbuster feel to every step of the narrative. We are giving you more variety, more dynamic oh, snap. Moment, moment gameplay, and more options to finish each mission. We can do this loud or quiet. Uh, uh, loud. I'm going loud. I don't care. I'm going loud. The game is packed with unexpected moments of Black Ops mystery. Okay. It's a high octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust and what's real. Okay. It's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. The Soviet Union was crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The U.S. is the only remaining superpower. Okay. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere, and there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture. All right, this, one, this one's going to get deep. It's going to get deep. When we talk about the Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War. Okay. It's directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2, the aftermath of which has left our heroes in dire circumstances. Yeah. Frank, what? <laughs> Black Ops 6 blends the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters. Okay. With veteran Frank Woods. Am I in there? Through oh. in our story. Woods! In this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following his traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. Yeah, Menendez went crazy on him. from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA. Okay. Often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. Smoking a cigarette, of course. His protege is Troy Marshall. Okay. Who's been making a name for himself in the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. Marshall and Woods are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. Hi, Jane. She's a born leader, fearless and brave. In love with Mary Jane. Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always been hugely valuable to the CIA, okay. whether they want to admit it or not. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field. Oh, just like me. Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. Uh oh. They soon realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on. Without any of their usual resources, they have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius. Okay. And Sabati Duma, a mysterious. Duma. Ooh, the butt of the gun! With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Adler, who oh my God, months, this guy. Y'all know I don't like him. 
former ally may have become a new enemy. Give me one second, y'all. Give me one second. My bad. For the Black All right, we're Ops good. Single player campaign. We prioritized mission variety and unique experiences. I like Our that. Goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types, each crafted from the ground up. Okay. One moment you'll be storming a palace. The next you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. I like that. So everything is different. That's you cool. I like that. Players all over the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within these missions, we wanted gameplay to unfold in multiple. I'm ways. beating all these missions on veteran first try. <laughs> through them as they see fit. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences. Ooh. And we think I can finesse my way into the casino. To see them all. Okay, that aiming is crazy. And listen, my aiming, I'm hitting everybody. I'm not missing a shot, to be honest with you. Shotgun of death! Uh-oh. Hey, how you doing? We are excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide uh -oh. different challenges for the player. Uh-oh. So whether they choose to go in guns blazing or take a stealthier approach. Line them up right oh, I'm not stealthy. Oh, collateral! You've continued to push on what's possible in terms of how our enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver I like that. the levels. Okay. Bro, that's a whole clip! Push on player's location and force them to think on their feet. Bye, boy! We've created certain missions where we give you a high level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. One mission in particular takes place in a vast desert in Iraq. You and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. Wait, what? I know we're coming. Oh, this is definitely going to be like some type of war zone map, I promise you. Oh, no. No, no. Definitely a multiplayer map. Not a war zone map. A multiplayer map. Definitely a multiplayer map. You'll find that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. Okay. We have a mission that takes place in an opulent casino in Southern Hey, that Europe. looks nice. It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. Ooh, that was smooth. Space is totally unexpected. That was smooth. Another one of our missions we have set in the harsh tundra of northern Russia. Uh oh, Siberia. Okay, I don't know where Siberia is. We are excited to offer an array of brand new equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. RCXD. RCXD. That's from Black Ops 2. Adrenaline stem. Uh oh. Homing knife. Disruptor. Ooh. Hi. The campaign is grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. Okay. You might remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold War. But this time we wanted to I don't, I don't remember that. more broadly about the environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. So it's in an abandoned manor. It's in Bruce Wayne's manor. Cliffside. Nice, okay. What's most unique is that it used to be a KGB black site. Which okay. Was operational during the 50s and 60s. Somebody needs to clean up in here. A lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. Okay. The team is also bringing back the evidence board, which is still the centerpiece of the safe house experience, but with brand new upgrades. Okay. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. Okay. Everybody shut up on set. Okay. The attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, okay, that was hard. That was sick. Great. I think we got it. Hey, if that was me, I would have nailed it up. Oh, Omni Movement. Our goal is to create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across. Hey, I'm beating all those guys in 1v1 easily. I'm just being honest with you. We've pushed ourselves at every corner to innovate and craft. Oh, my bro, you can jump back and shoot. <laughs> Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. Yeah, bro. And with Black Ops 6, we're redefining oh my God. movement across the entire Hey, game. I'm going absolutely ballistic. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely new global <gasps> system we call Omni Movement. 
This unlocks the ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers. Oh, this is cheese. I love it. Dive and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion. Bro, there's like no prone lock right now, bro. From the beginning, we started with you can't do this thing. Why? And then realize people actually move that way. What happens if we get rid of that construct? And then instantly it opened up like, oh, if you can sprint in any direction, then you can dive in any direction. You can slide in any direction. This guy was watching my gameplay. He knows what he's talking about. And everything else chaining together. This guy's been watching my gameplay. He knows all the complaints I'm talking about. Bro, you can literally, bro, you can jump backwards and shoot. That's crazy. It's really been something that changes how you think and play the game. Whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies, we truly believe that once you experience, you can jump out the window and shoot. No going back. Oh my! We also have what we're calling intelligent movement, okay. which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. These can okay. be enabled in player options, and they're broken down into three categories. Okay. Sprint assist, uh -huh. mantle assist, and crouch assist. Uh huh. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Oh, so you can just go up to a new, and they'll automatically. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. That we want all players to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. Nice. Hey, I like this guy's mindset. We want every player, regardless of skill level or input or experience with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Ooh. We looked at other genres like racing games where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of So they, they were looking at other games for like movement options. I don't think this is a That's a pro move right game. there. And I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. All right, uh, Fidelity. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. So we, now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location. That oh, okay, and that's hard. So we're okay, no, that was hard. This concept that okay. movement and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. They're dialed in. A They're dialed in. I like that. Shines is a global feature we call corner slicing, where as you round a corner and go through a doorway, your weapon's gonna die. Oh, that's cheese. In the direction that you're rounding that. Corner. Oh, this is this is the Call of Duty for me. A bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed around that same corner. Oh, this is this is me. This is all me. Opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops Six. No, no, no. This is legit all me. Uh oh, who's that? Who's that? Please don't shoot. Take cover. Our, our team is super thrilled to show you the best looking characters that we've done. Okay. Through our process of photogrammetry, gear was acquired, scanned, and incorporated. Hey, whenever I get my character in Black Ops 6, I want my character to be dripped out. I don't care. I don't. I, I legit don't care. His performances was captured and processed to make every emotional, impactful moment true to actual life. We made sure to have special attention to the cuticles and make sure that they don't look like they're just freshly cut. There's dirt in between their nails, the oils in their palms as they're sweating oh, I, and running through situations out there. I like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey they're dialing in. Hey, they're, di hey, they're dialing in. Attention every detail. They're dialing in. I like it. They're dialing in. I like it. I love it. The thing that I'm most excited about is the number of new weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Uh oh, sniper. Our heroes are rogue operatives and they operate outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary. And it allowed us to pull a unique mix of weapons. We made sure to deliver dozens of unique attachments for every gun. And this allows the players to create a weapon to match any play style that you can imagine, all while maintaining the feel and tone of the era. Oh my God. In Black Ops 6, we really strive for striking that balance between real and hyper real, but okay. we want to ground our effects in realism. We find real world reference so that we can match that motion, the weight, the timing, then riff off of that 
and create that hyper real look that everybody has come to know and love from Call of Duty. Okay, okay, all right, okay, Mike. Okay, Mike. You're talking, my language. <laughs> You're talking, my. I like that, Mike. Okay, Mike. Got the HUD, okay. The Black Ops 6 user experience is all about focusing players on what they need when they need it. And our in-game HUD is no different. From the mini-map to the ammo widget to in-game notifications, the Black Ops 6 HUD combines some of our best designs in a clean, streamlined experience. For the first time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. For instance, streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup. Or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't They're looking out for the content creators? Play hardcore anywhere or finally put the mini map in the bottom left? Those are options as well. You can move the mini map too? Not only does the HUD give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. Okay, so wait a minute, hold up. Challenge or target their next level unlock. Black Ops 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience from the lobby into combat and back where player progress and achievement are celebrated in a big way. Okay, okay, I like that, okay. Okay, hold up. They're talking my language right now. Okay, yeah, fix your shirt. Okay, you're looking, you're looking nice, okay. Progression. Uh-oh. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community for how we used to handle prestige. Okay, come on. Traditional prestige is back in Call of Duty with Black Ops 6. Oh yeah, we're back. We we're back the completely. Best the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems and are going bigger and more rewarding than ever. Players who reach max player level will have hey. a choice to enter prestige Start fresh if you're max player level, you're getting the friend request, just like the old days. I just want, I just want you to know that. Ten prestigious, each with a valuable set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your staff. If you are max Players level, you're getting the friend request. Fun. Instead, they'll graduate into prestige master with a thousand additional levels to climb through and a classified reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. The full prestige system is available on day one in Black Ops 6. Oh my. Oh my. Multiplayer. We know how many of our players look forward to multiplayer and we of will course. be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on Please. supporting three core play styles. For Please launch, uh, bring back three lane maps. Please select a kill and stay on the move. Please. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. Of and course. strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemies. I wish they bring back like three lane maps. All of our weapons, gear, and gadgets in multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode. Uh oh! Happy to announce is returning with Black Ops Six. <sighs> nice. Let's no go. We're only getting a taste of MP today, but of course that means you're going to get some early details on maps. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 all new MP maps. 16? 12 core 6v6 and four strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. Okay. Whoever's on my team, we're winning. Like, what do we know that they want? So three lane. Back to our classic three lane maps. We have fast, <laughs> frenetic experiences, and we have that balance with more medium size, like better nice. focus, hardcore pacing to keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the. Oh, yeah, it's over. It's Jehovah. I, I can't lie to you. You're done. And we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. Wait, so we gotta do we gotta do the campaign first, then we gotta play multiplayer? We gotta do the campaign first to play multiplayer? We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Alright, what, what's the one more thing? What what's up? Uh oh, Oh yeah, it's over. It's no, no, no. It's no, no. It's genuinely over. It's genuinely over. It's genuinely over. Round-based zombies is back, and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. 
we're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch with a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, and tons of secrets to uncover. Oh man! Of zombies is incredibly important to I train, think we're back! We're so proud of what the mode is bringing to players. <laughs> I think we're As back. Heard today, the innovations and in movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Oh, and you, Plus, can, you can. There are many additional zombie-specific features, both new and returning. You can this use the Omni movement and zombies too. Return for round-based zombies. Be on the lookout for more intel coming later this year. Steph interviewed AB Mark. Hi, Steph. Now we know we only gave you a little taste of multiplayer here today. So yeah. make sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty Next on August 28th. Make sure to stay tuned for details and watch your favorite streamers get hands-on Black Ops 6. Me? Me? Am I your favorite streamer? Me? Oh. MP beta and feel Omni movement for yourself. We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops 6 in the coming months and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. And it's not just about launch because the team is already focused on delivering a ton of content in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. I just put it on my calendar. Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. What do you mean no? Why can't she talk about Warzone? You a hater. Our Black Ops 6 was and still is to make something that is the best work we've ever done and frankly, the most fun to play. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how something could be better. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations <sighs> like Omni Movement, where we're now allowing players to move how real people and operators move. In other cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige, then taking that classic system through the ringer and making <sighs> updates and improvements. Across our weapon, this is what player, I like to see. I think we're back. I think we're back. The highest visual and audio fidelity possible. The campaign tells an all new Black Ops story where you're forced to go rogue and are being hunted by the teams that trained you. Uh -oh. On top of that, the team is really focused on mission and engagement variety. Hey, I, I, listen, I need to be like one of the stunt doubles. You guys know I'm, I'm so good at that. DNA of Black Ops, and hopefully in the sneak peek, it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and better than ever, from movement to shooting to footsteps to engagement systems to death. Okay, that's what I like to hear. Definitely nice. Definitely not least, the triumphant return of round-based zombies. There is so much more to share across all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th. I need the game now. Forget October 25th. I need the game I'm now. The entire team, we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Nice. Let's go, man. Oh, his neck. Call of Duty Black Ops 6, man. October 25th. Vault Edition. Oh, yeah, I'm getting the Vault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Listen. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm getting the Listen, I'm getting the highest edition. I, I don't care what it is. I, I think it's the Vault Edition. I don't. Listen. I'm going to be honest with you. Call me, call me whatever you want, bro. But, bro, this is the first Call of Duty out of what? Out of, like, the first. Bro, this is, like, the first Call of Duty in, like, in almost 10 years that I'm excited for all three. For for the for the campaign for the multiplayer and for the zombies, bro. This this is a, this is the first Call of Duty, bro. I feel like we're back. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like we're back, bro. I feel like this is this is our modern day Black Ops Two. I, I, I mean, listen, I don't want to take it, you know, because obviously Black Ops Two is like it's completely undefeated. But bro, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Black Ops Six, bro. Listen, they got Omni movement. Um, the zombies look enticing. The multiplayer looks enticing. The the campaign looks enticing. I'm gonna be honest with you. This might be it. This might be. Out of all these years, Call of Duty, you might have struck gold with this one. I'm going to be honest with you. Comment down below. What do you guys think about Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 6 Direct? Tell me, guys, what you like about it in the comment section down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy my reaction to the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Direct. I'm super excited. So you guys are going to mix them out. And 